Hey guys, new ITNA video is here. Uh, want to be sure about iOS 11 update process? Well, right now I have two Apple devices at iOS 10 and I would like to update them. If you are interested, uh, keep watching and repeat the process as you please. First though, data backup. Even since this process is seamless, it's still highly recommended to have backup ready. I saw way too many times when the process update failed, sometimes with the data loss. Those are very sad times for users. Two options how to make iOS device backup are iCloud and iTunes. Results are basically the same, however cons for iCloud might be the available space on your virtual storage. Free plan offers only 5GB of the space compared to iTunes where you are limited only by available space on your Windows or MacBook machine hard drive. And my personal recommendation before moving to iOS 11 is to actually spend some time removing apps you don't using anymore and making an order in your personal data. Update times are usually the best for doing such a cleanup. To start the backup process, you just need to open iCloud settings within your device, then clicking on iCloud icon and finding iCloud backup. Once you're there, simply click on backup now. Depends on how much data you have on your device, including music, pictures, backup process will take few minutes. Of course, you have to switch iCloud backup on and exactly the same process on iPhone iTunes backup isn't any harder. Connect iPhone or iPad to the machine, open up iTunes, look at your device and you should see backup options as a second segment like I do. Click on backup now, give to the process necessary time and you're done. It works exactly the same way on Windows machines with iTunes. Now let's see the update process by itself. Here I have ready iPhone 7 Plus and iPad Pro 10.5 inches, both currently running on iOS 10. Necessary backups has been done, of course, so let's check the settings. On the general button, you will find software update and once you click on this button, system will automatically search for latest available updates. Both devices already know about iOS 11, so start the update by clicking on download and install. You have to agree with terms and conditions, but once you pass this step, update process will begin. And as you can see right away, iPad had already cached iOS 11 update package, so it started the process right away. The iPhone doesn't have it in the cache, so it starts with downloading the package first. I speed up the video a bit and iPad is about to be updated. Obviously it updates, even if you're atheist like I am, you should always pray to some god. It's still a fragile moment for your device and if the update fails for any reason, you quite certainly have a nice brick. This time though, my praise has been listened and iPad is updated. And it took about 10 minutes. At the same time, iPhone downloaded the update package, so let's start the update here too. Back to iPad and its welcome screen. Now acting like a new device, although all data and settings should be attached. Briefly going through Touch ID settings, skipping the screen passcode, as well as skipping the Apple ID. few other options here, including a quick start guide for iOS 11 actually. And voila, I'm home. Let's check this new graphic user interface starting with iOS 11 wallpaper setting for home and lock screen. Tremendous. Here the quick access menu with those cool sliders for brightness and volume. Even Apple Pencil works right away, so let's play with it while waiting for iPhone. And quick tip for you guys, iOS 11 now allows you to move multiple apps at the same time. Small but nice improvement. Back to quick access menu to show you the music and wireless controllers. And great, great flashlight dimmer. So natural. And the iPhone is ready as well. It took 10 minutes for update itself, plus another 10 minutes to download the installation package. This result depends of course mostly on your internet speed. Going through a new welcome screen 
And the update is done. Welcome to iOS 11. Update was successful. Here just briefly showing new GUI and quite hidden night shift mode button. I am very happy to have the latest iOS software on my devices. There are plenty of new and interesting features I already know about, but also I am excited to be surprised time to time in the next few days with this new system. After properly using it, I will definitely bring you a new video uh, with tips and tricks for iOS 11. All for today, fellas. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you find this video useful. Please like or dislike it. And yes, we are still looking for new subscribers. Uh, I message sticker pack from mom still available at App Store. Links for download are below the video. We'll be happy if you check them out. Peace in your heart and see you around.